What's up guys, Walks here and today Eh hey, hey, it's something different still like Doing a Q&A today like I don't know how you lot have let me get away with not doing one for so long Like we all like two and a half K subscribers in and I ain't done one yet So today we're gonna get to it I put out on my social medias what questions people had to ask me I've lost some of them so forgive me if I don't do it in this Q&A, drop your comments or message me again and I'll do it in the next one, whenever that is. But yeah, man, some good questions. A lot of you ask me multiple questions, so I'm just going to go through them as you send them to me. Kind of looking forward to this. Nervous at the same time, but you know how it go. All right, we're starting off with my guy, Wardo Wallace. Shout out your thing. He asks, who do you think is the most talented artist you've worked with professionally? I think this is an easy one. I'm gonna say Double S. Why I say Double S? He's got the history as a grime artist from 2004, I think it is, all the way till now. He's been putting in work, and I've been in the studio sessions. I've seen his songwriting skills, his melodic abilities. He is cold, and that doesn't mean the rest of the people I work with aren't cold. They're all dope, but due to his songwriting abilities, I put him up there at the top of the list. His next question is: Who, in your opinion, is flying under the radar in the UK music scene? Who's gonna blow in 2018? I didn't know the answer to this when he first asked the question but I'm gonna say Hardy Caprio that guy's a problem a very big problem and who I would say that's got like a cult following but isn't as big as well Shaggy Dread I'm always surprised at how many views he gets just pushing it himself no pay promotion none of the big Instagrams or social medias pushing his stuff but he still does dirt his last question was when well, you're not doing reactions other man asks you to do what's your top three to five artists you'll listen to always on the daily I gotta check my Spotify thing for this still card it that that's, that's a bit of a mad question. I'm listening to Sub 10. That's definitely one Sub 10. I listen to RV and Heady One a lot. So I'll put that as two and three. And we've got to do two more. Who else? I'm just going to do UK as well. I'm not going to do the US thing. Ooh, this is a hard one still. Cultural funds I put in there as well. Hey, my Spotify playlist is actually a mix of everything, fam. There's not too many of one artist. I put Hardy Caprio in there as well still. So those are my five. Sub 10, RV, Heady One. Hardy Caprio, Kojo Funds. Those are the five. All right, next question. Arafa says, what inspired you to start vlogging and reacting to videos? The vlogging thing, I don't know, like, I'm around a lot of artists, so I thought, yeah, why not, like, there's some interesting content to be filmed. You get me when I'm at video shoots and studio sessions and certain things. And that kind of developed into me, like, binge watching bear vlogs and how to improve and certain things and that. So yeah, it just developed into something I wanted to do from me thinking this is dope for everybody to see because not everybody sees behind the scenes they're not a thing no more but it's just developed over the time period and turned into where it is today it's more me talking to you guys showing you what i'm doing rather than just showing you what's happening so yeah shout out Arafa for that question next question is from my guy carlos wavy do you find it hard to do reaction videos to videos your own area has beef with i don't do reactions to videos my own area has beef with that's it's just not gonna happen i'm not involved in no beef but i'm just not gonna do it like i know too many people to do stupidness like that his second question is is it hard for you to do reaction videos to your own ends when they're sending disses to others do you think you can get caught up or is it all just music to you? it's just music to me but i'm aware <laughs> i know how it could look so i'm aware i don't do certain man's reactions guys too close to home but i'm aware still it is it's a bit mad because yeah it's it's, it's it's a mad situation some of the reactions have to get done there's not much i can do but if i can avoid it i'll avoid it but if not it is what it is isn't it shall we be though a kill says if you had the choice to work with three artists to make one song who would it be and it shouldn't be true hmm who would it be damn hardy caprio calls your fans one ace if i'm to make a wavy type something you get me if i was to make a rap something it would be lemons deep green pacman gave you two for one there still richie gave me a couple questions he said why do you start your channel I started my channel because i'm a producer promote beats but i wasn't consistent with it so yeah like there was no motivation no direction behind it i would upload videos whenever i wanted but yeah it turned into something else still like with the reacting thing i just had an idea like man them always asked me to check out their music promote them and i used to do like vlogs actual vlogs on my website as well so i thought why not do like a video version of me writing these vlogs i used to watch deep speaks a lot as well so i got the inspiration to just do reaction videos to promote my man them. but when i started doing that people started liking them it developed people started commenting which videos they want me to react to i started getting recognized out in the street people telling me my reactions are funny so i just kept at it man his next question is how did you join marvel 
know what I think it means by Marvel is M Global. So M Global is Motivation Global. It's Double S, Shocker, Sub Ten, Ray, Historic, Tim Forbes, and me. So it was just a group chat of the man them. We went to go out on holiday. That flopped and then it turned into M Global. M Global's doubles thing. And yeah, we're just man them bros that's pushing each other's stuff in it, like helping each other elevate. We go to events together. We just do our thing, man. Who are the rappers you rate? I rate quite a lot, man. Lems, uh, Deep Green, Pac Man, J Styles, ICB, Q2T, RV Heady One, Richie, obviously, Double S, Shocker, Sub 10. There's too many to, to go through. There's bare, like, who do you think's up next? All right, I've said Harley Capital, I've said Shaki Tread already. A kennel, if he keeps up his consistency, he's gonna be up there. Sub 10 is bubbling as well. If he keeps up the consistency, like, Sub, we need another video. Come on, let's go shoot another thing. Let's vlog it. And you get me? Like, come on, man. We need another one. I got a tune with Sub as well called Shelleton Square. It's gonna come out soon, maybe after his headline show, May the 10th. At Relentless, up in Tottenham Court Road. Free entry, got Melody Kane hosting. Limitless and Jam Pack as the DJs. Support acts are Reese West, The Kennel, CK and Richie, Double S and Shocker. I'll be there. Make sure you're down there. You get me? Again, free entry 7 to 11. Make sure you come. Quick plug, quick plug. But yeah, man, I'd say them two are who's up next though that I can actually see with my own eyes. Nay says, when will you come out of the jungle? Really, nigga? When you take me out of the jungle, innit? My guy Javonada says, how did you start your reactions? Again, just promoting the mandem, they get me, and supporting the mandem's thing, and then it turned into just supporting dope artists that I find and that I see and music that I like and would actually listen to. And obviously the music that everybody who watches me listens to as well. You also said, how do you start producing beats? I started producing beats when I was about seven, eight. Growing up in where I grew up in Tottenham, he had a lot of musical influences. My uncle used to make beats, he had three loops, three point five. Point seven. I used to watch him make beats, his friends would come around and make beats, um, so I started making my own as I got older, just practicing, not really taking it serious. Double S used to actually make beats as well, he used to show me how he made them as well. Limitless made beats, so it's just, I was around a lot of men that had that musical influence and yeah, just kept at it. Used to be a rapper first, not many people know that. It's like a quick shh. Jav also says, who's your top five UK rappers? Free drill and two rappers. Cass is dead, I don't react to much of his music, but he's like his old stuff. He's still my favorite artist to this day, and I put him at number one, the rest is in the water. Deep Green in there, we put RV, Heady One. It's either K Trap or QTT. Yeah, I think that's it, if I forget. And top five grammar is Sub 10 Double S, Lady Leisha, DWE in there. I'm gonna put Prez T in there. And that's just off the top of my head. Like, forgive me. I go blank when this thing happens, and I'm just freestyling the answers, so allow me. And yeah, man. That's all the questions I got today still like hope I gave you lot some good answers. If you want to know any more questions, leave a comment below and I will do another QA. Let me know what you think of the answers I dropped, what your answers would be. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're here each and every Tuesday from 6 pm dropping reactions. Thursdays were dropping if your favorite artist was a draw rapper. Fridays were dropping the freestyle Fridays and beats. And Sundays we got the vlogs like today. You get me, so stay tuned, keep up with the schedule. We're gonna be so much more more consistent we're on the road to that 3k emmy so make sure you subscribe up the thing share it up on your social media get your people to subscribe let's keep moving as a unit man i've been walks some out peace and love